What's up guys Ovadov here and this video we're gonna be minting the first NFT on base mainnet. As usual links and other information is gonna be in description but follow that at your own risk. And be sure to like this video right away so you don't have to do it at the end. So base went into the mainnet. Now currently before the early August you're not gonna see any depths fully launching on this chain because team says we are asking everybody to hold on publicly exposing their user facing depths until early August. So currently all the interactions are happening via developer tools but starting early August we will be able to fully interact with the depths we'll have the proper bridge probably but what we have today for regular users we have this nfc that we're gonna mint today it's available for everybody then if you possess technical knowledge in order to be able to properly deploy project on chain uh, you can get these nfts however i'm gonna say that because i already saw that uh, in couple places that people seriously recommend to regular users to participate in this quest. It's not like deploying one smart contract on chain and verifying it. That's not going to be enough. You need to deploy a full uh, project. You need to have like proper project page. You need to have the front end. You need to provide some other information about the project. So that's for developers of the dApps. I mean, if you want to spend time and additional gas in order to deploy one useless smart contract on chain, it's completely up to you. But I do not recommend this because it's kind of pointless in my opinion. But going back to this NFT, how do we get this? The only prerequisite here is that you have a little bit of ETH on Ethereum mainnet. First of all, we need to add base mainnet into our MetaMask. As usual, the simplest way would be going to chain list. You put base here. And we add this one to the MetaMask. If that doesn't work for you for some reason, you can manually add the chain here. Like from this menu, I will put all the necessary information again in description. Once you added your base network, if you switched, make sure to switch back to Ethereum mainnet. And here we need to manually send some ETH to the specific contract address. This is the contract address and here you can get away with this amount to pay the gas for the minting. Uh, it's up to you to do a little bit more. I will go ahead and move a little bit more right away in case I'm going to need to do something else on the base and I don't have to use the bridge because if you do the minimum amount, you're basically losing 50% of that for the Ethereum mainnet gas. But again, this is completely up to you. You can do a lot less. So as you can see, currently estimated gas is around two bucks, slightly higher. Obviously that's going to depend on the gas in Ethereum mainnet. So I would suggest to pick the time when the gas is low to minimize your costs for this one. Transaction was confirmed in my MetaMask. Now we need to go to the base base. Be sure you're on the main net and we need to wait a little bit. Let's see how much time will it take. And just around a minute later, my ETH arrived, as you can see. Next, we go into the base scan and I want to emphasize that follow the instructions exactly because if you screw up in one place, the whole thing is not going to work probably for you. So once you're in this page, base scan slash verified signatures, Make sure also that you are currently on the base in your MetaMask. Then we need to click sign messages, connect the MetaMask. After connecting, we click sign again. It will give us this warning. That's okay. Clicking okay. Make sure that in the address field, you see the wallet address of your wallet. And then message to sign, we need to put the exact message here. All your base are belong to you. Make sure that there are no spaces in front of the message or after the message. At the end of the message, you should have the period or dot, whatever you want to call it. Make sure it's there. Make sure that it's all lower cases. This message has to be correct or you will run into the problems later. So here we're just going to sign, we sign in the message and that's it. It's going to say publish signed message. You don't need to click publish, just leave it at that. Next, we're going to go to this contract address. If you follow the link exactly, you should end up here. Now, if for some reason you just end up 
on the main uh, page of the contract, you need to click on the contract and then on the right button and you will end up here and we need to connect the wallet, clicking connect to web3, again it will give us warning, clicking ok, then here we need to click the mint, then paste our signature hash and paste that signature hash in this field and click right. And here if you see the moderate gas, like around 30-40 cents, that means you did everything correctly. In case you see some crazy gas, or you see the error, this most likely means that you did not put this message properly. Check if that is correct. If you made a mistake, you can close it and sign another message and get another signature hash. Alright, transaction was confirmed. We can also view this transaction and here you can see your wallet address, ERC721 token ID, base for builders. In case that button doesn't work for you, you can just copy your wallet address and you paste that into the search. First of all, you're gonna see the minting transaction in transactions and then if you click on ERC721 tab, you should see that transaction here and we're done with the minting, really not much to add here. If you have questions or comments, be sure to drop them below. Thank you very much for watching. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. That helps a lot. And I'll see you next time.